Greetings, beloved in Christ. We are entering the season where newly minted high school graduates will be leaving home for college. I am a big proponent of Episcopal campus ministry because I am a product of Episcopal campus ministry. I have told lots of stories of how Father Bob McGee, who was the Episcopal chaplain for Winston-Salem State University and Salem College and my alma mater, Wake Forest University, how he brought me back to church with his love, with his patience, with his willingness to struggle and grapple with hard questions and tough passages of scripture, with his constant encouragement to me that God is simply waiting for me to reach out. I commend campus ministry to you. And Episcopal campus ministry is making a difference in the lives of so many young adults. And our Lutheran Episcopal partnerships are providing space for students to ask big questions, to delve deeply into their own understanding of their faith and their relationship with God and with one another. I am an advocate of campus ministry and here in the office of the Bishop, Missioner Elizabeth Servacio serves as our mission for campus ministry. She is a resource for anyone who is thinking about campus ministry or wanting to embark on a new ministry in their community, and I encourage you to be in touch with her. I also want to commend to you Pastor Zach Paris, who, with Mother Mary Kate Rejoui, serve as the chaplains for the Lutheran Episcopal Campus Ministry at CU Boulder. I hope that if you are sending members from your congregation to see you Boulder, if you have family members who are moving across country to attend see you Boulder, I hope that you will be in touch with Pastor Zach and Mother Mary Kate because they want nothing more than to provide the support for young, your young person that they might need. They want to create grace and space for folks to be in community, to find fellowship, and maybe even to find a deeper, richer relationship with God. Hi, I'm Zach Paris, and I am blessed to be the pastor of a community of students called Bread and Belonging at St. Aidan's Episcopal Church on the campus of the University of Colorado Boulder. In campus ministry, we live deeply into the cross-shaped rhythm of life that is death and rebirth. And in the summer, we are anxiously awaiting the new life that will inevitably spring forth on our campuses this fall. In college, those early years of young adulthood are an incredibly tumultuous time in life. It's a time when everything is turned on its head, and I mean that theologically and philosophically, but even more so, it's true in the day-to-day -day lives of students. Most are living away from home for the first time, and students have to discover and build the predictable routines of life that many of us as adults take for granted. And at a time when everything is changing, campus ministry is about providing students stability upon which they can build their new lives. So whether a campus ministry focuses on weekly meals or worship or service or retreats or travel experiences, at its heart, those of us in campus ministry seek to be a stable place of grace and hope during those turbulent years. So spoilers, I am actually a Lutheran pastor. And as Lutherans, in Boulder, we work with St. Aidan's to do our ministry together. And I know that between our two church bodies, we have literally hundreds of campus ministries across the country. And here in Colorado, we have most college campuses covered from Boulder to Greeley to Denver to Fort Collins to Gunnison to Grand Junction and back to Golden. And so as we look to a new year, I ask for your help for our ministries, but more importantly, for the sake of the young people in your lives. I ask that you take some time in the coming weeks to connect your college-bound students with their campus ministry. It will be a gift and it will be a gift that will empower them to take the positive risk that will form and transform their emerging adult lives, that will embolden them to follow in the way of Christ, in the way of love. And we are so invested in this work, I am so invested in this work, that all you have to do 
in order to get your student connected is to email me at zach at breadandbelonging.org. And we will connect your student to the Episcopal Campus Ministry on their campus anywhere in the country. We will do all the work for you. And so as brand new communities prepare to form on campuses around this country, we give thanks for your support, for your prayers, and of course, for your referrals.